What's up, Soul Hills kids? That's right, it's Sunday, and you're here, or maybe it's Monday, or maybe it's Tuesday, but whenever you're watching, I am so glad that you guys have decided to just spend a few minutes and listen to this week's So Hills Kids. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I might put some cool music behind this. It's because we're ready to party. I'm sorry. I'm super happy today, and that is all. And I hope you guys are doing great as well. So, it's a day, and you're watching So Hills Kids, and I bet you're wondering, what are we talking about? Great! That's awesome, because we're talking about... Anybody remember? Anyone? Patience. That is right. We're talking about patience this month. Because, well, we all need a little bit of patience. Like in traffic, or waiting for food, or waiting your turn to play video games. There's a lot of reasons to need patience, and so we're talking about patience. And this week we're talking about the Israelites, because, well, they didn't show the best patience. So we're going to talk about them and what they did, but first we've got a game. We're going to play four corners, okay? So you can do that in your house. Please don't break anything, or else I might get in trouble. But play some four corners. We're going to do a few rounds of that. Let's see how you do if you can get all three or four rounds in a row or if you get out. So I'll let you guys do that and I'll be back in a second. fun about four corners guys i don't know what it is don't know why it's just fun hope you guys did great but anyways let's set up the story for today and see what we're talking about so i said we're talking about the israelites and if if you remember or if you don't know just totally fine the israelites were god's chosen people you see the old testament was written from the perspective and by mostly israelites in israel in jerusalem and they were God's chosen people. But before they got to Israel, before they set up the city and everything, right, they had some trouble. You see, before all of that, they were in Egypt and, 
and they were cool, and then Egypt got really mean and, and enslaved them, and they couldn't leave, and they were slaves, and they were forced to work all day, every day. And finally, this guy named Moses comes along, and God, through Moses, frees the Israelites, and they get to go travel through the desert, and they get to, well, be free from slavery. But here's the thing. They kind of had their ups and downs, and so Israel didn't listen to God and ended up stuck in the wilderness. And at one point, God says, Moses, go to Mount Sinai. Now, Mount Sinai was a mountain over there near Israel, but not quite there. And so Moses goes, and he goes up, and he comes back down, and then God calls him up there again, and he goes up. And goes up. And after a few weeks, he has not come down yet. And the Israelites with Aaron, who's Moses' brother, start to get worried. They start to wonder, what happened to Moses? Where did Moses go? And they had two choices. They could wait patiently for Moses, who was meeting God and learning the laws like the Ten Commandments. Or they could take things into their own hands. Let's just say they did make the best choice. We'll jump into the choice they made in just a second. Let's watch Haley's video this week on our memory verse. I'm super excited. We'll see you there. What is up, you guys? It's Haley, and I am back with a brand new memory verse for the month of March. So this month, we're going to be in Psalms 27, 14. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the brand new motions and introduce the new words. So first motion is wait. And then we're gonna make an L with our fingers. We're gonna put it at our hip and we're gonna bring it to our shoulder. So wait for the Lord. Next, we're gonna say, be strong. Show me your muscles. Be strong and do not lose hope. So we're gonna take our peace signs. We're gonna cross our fingers. And we're gonna shake them back and forth. Like we're hoping for something exciting to happen. So be strong and do not lose hope. And then we're going to come back to the beginning and say, wait for the Lord. So let's put it all together. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and do not lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalms 27, 14. Great job, you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much, Haley, for that video. As always, we love it. And, uh, do you know that Roger, if you come here, Roger, who works in All Stars, also helped make that video extra awesome. So give it up for them if you see them at church, or just say thank you in your hearts. But we're jumping into our Bible lesson for today. So like I said, Moses had gone up and Israel was left with a choice. Wait patiently, or take things into their own hand. And well, they took things into their own hands. So let's read. This is in Exodus chapter 32, okay? So it says, The people saw how long it was taking Moses to come back down the mountain. They gathered around Aaron. This guy right here. That's Aaron. That's Moses' brother. Yeah. They gathered around Aaron. And he, I guess, was the next in command after Moses. And they said, Make us gods who can lead us. We don't know what happened to the fellow Moses who brought us out from Egypt. So Moses is gone, and they just say, well, we don't know what happened to him. It's been a few weeks. I guess we'll just make our own choices. We'll do our own thing. We don't need to wait anymore. So Aaron took gold rings. He got some gold. He used to do wives and sons and daughters and bring them to me. So they took all the gold rings and their ears and, 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 and melted it down, and it all got goopy and oopy. And then they formed it into a golden calf right here. Uh, it's actually called Baal, uh, is the god that they, they worshipped, and it was this golden calf called Baal. And so they melted it down into a golden calf. And when the people saw it, they exclaimed, Oh Israel, these are the gods who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Now we both know that's not true. And the thing is, the Israelites knew that wasn't true too. They were rescued by the one true God, Yahweh. But because they were impatient, they didn't want to wait on him anymore, so they decided to make their own choice and make their own gods. And Aaron saw how excited the people were, so he built an altar in front of the calf, and then he announced, Tomorrow there will be a festival! So, we've got a golden calf now. We've got an altar over here now. And now they're about to have a party? 
for this statue? The people got up early the next morning to sacrifice burnt offerings and peace offerings, and after this they celebrated with feasts and drinking, and they indulged in pagan revelry. So they got wild. It was bad. They did not make great choices. All because they were impatient. And then the Lord told Moses, Quick, go down from the mountain. Your people whom you brought from the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. How quickly they've turned away from the way I commanded them to live. They've melted down gold and made a calf and bowed down and sacrificed to it. They're saying, These are our gods, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. So, that's what they did. In fact... The Lord got so mad at this that he just wanted to destroy Israel. And Moses had to talk him out of it. Moses said, no, 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 wait. Be patient. And you know what God did? God was patient. He was more patient than any of them ever deserved. And he decided to spare Israel. Now Moses got all the way down there and and ended up getting so mad that the tablets that had the commandments had written on them, he smashed to pieces. Because that's how bad the Israelites were. They chose to be impatient. But God chose to be patient. So let's worship and praise a God who is patient with this next song, and then we'll wrap up. So I'll see you guys there.
much love does you still love us? You're the anchor that always will. Wow. I just still can't believe how impatient the Israelites were. How God had done so much for them, and they just kind of ignored it and did their own thing because they didn't want to have to wait. Moses was obviously upset. God was upset. But God chose to show patience, and isn't that good? And here's the thing. It's easy to get mad at the Israelites and be like, you're crazy. Why would you do that? But the reality is we do the same thing. We do it every single day when we don't want to wait in line to get our food. Or we don't want to have to wait for our turn to watch TV when it's our turn and our sibling keeps watching the same show over and over again. Or playing our video games or uh, we, we just want what we want when we want it. The newest thing. And we get impatient. And we get upset and we get angry and we want what we want and we throw a fit or we get mad or we say hurtful things. And the reality is we're impatient just like the Israelites were. Now we're not building a golden calf, right? We're not worshiping a, a, a statue, but we're worshiping what our heart wants. And sometimes our heart wants video games and sometimes our heart wants us to not have to pick up because that requires patience. Sometimes we want what we want, and we want it when we want it, and that's worshiping something else. That's putting something else above God, and we don't want to do that. So God calls us to be patient. Just like he showed for the Israelites immense, huge patience, because they were doing some pretty crazy stuff, God decided to spare them still. And he shows patience with you. Even when we mess up, even when I get mad because I'm stuck at a stoplight and I'm late and I need to be somewhere and I'm hungry and I just want to go and I want to beat my horn and yell and scream, God is still patient with me in those moments. And he shows us love. You see, he sent Jesus to die for us so we could be connected with God. And even when we're impatient, even when we struggle, even when things are hard, he still loves us. So let's think about how we can work on patience. Because the reality is, the more we work on patience, the easier it gets. When we do something over and over and over, like practicing a sport, we get better at it. So when we're patient over and over and over again, we get better at it. So how can we practice patience this week? That's our question. I want you guys to think about it. how can you practice patience? How can you be more patient? So thank you so much for watching, guys. I always love these videos. I hope you guys do as well. I will see you all next week as we talk about some more things with patience. Bye.